Natalia Fanelli. I work at the Stein Lab. I'm a master's student here, and I've been working on evaluating protein quality for human foods using PEGI as a model. So today, I'm going to present a poster that we presented in the Dietary Protein for Human Health Conference that is titled The Digestible and Dispensable Amino Acid Diets for Egg and Plant Proteins. So as you may know, eggs are rich in, in essential amino acids that are required for many functions in the human body and is often known as main quality protein for humans with high quality protein. Many cooking procedures are used for eggs and the cooking procedures can affect protein quality even if it's boiling or grilling and it can go up and it can go down the protein quality. Eggs are often eaten with variety of, of foods, mainly with plant protein based foods and Paul recommended a new method to evaluate protein quality ca called DIAS that it has come to overcome the PDCAS method that used fecal uh, digestibility and now the DIAS method uses ileal digestibility because it's more accurate due to no effects on microbiota fermentation. Therefore, the objectives of these experiments were to determine diet values for boiled, scrambled, and fried eggs, determine diet values for combined meals of eggs with breads and potatoes as a breakfast combined style, and determine the complementary and additivity of diets. So for this study, we used 10 experimental diets. The first diet was boiled egg, the second diet was scrambled egg, and then another diet with fried egg, English muffin, Texas toast, hash brown. And then we also had three other diets with combined ingredients. The first combined ingredients were English muffin with fried egg, Texas toast with boiled egg, and hash brown with scrambled egg. And we also had one nitrogen-free diet that we use for accounting based on endogenous losses of amino acids. For this study, we had nine ileal cannulated pigs with body weight of 51.1 kg, and they were assigned to a Yodin square design where we had six replicated pigs per diet, and each pig ate one diet for a period. Each period lasts seven days with five days of adaptation of the diet and collections on the day six and seven. At the end of the experiment, we analyzed all ingredients, diets, and ileal digesta for amino acids, protein, and dry matter, and we calculated the standard ileal digestibility of protein and amino acids and diets for three different ages, which are infants from zero to six months, children from six to 36 months, and adults, adolescents, and older children. Moving on to the results of this research, all of the eggs had greater protein quality and had protein quality above 100, meaning that no indispensable amino acids were lacking. And for the um, hash brown, we had a, a diet value of 73 and 86 for children and for adults, meaning that this value of 86 is a good source of protein for adults, but the hash brown had still limiting lysine. And the same thing we found for the Texas toast and the English muffin diets that were limiting lysine and had no claims regarding protein quality. Moving on to the comparison of the measured and predicted diets, we found that there were no difference between the, the predicted diets and the measured diets, and that the combination of hash brown and scrambled egg was sufficient to complement each other and provide all indispensable amino acids for all adults and children from six to three years old. However, the English muffin combinations with fried egg and Texas toast with boiled egg was not enough to provide indispensable amino acids for children and people older than three years, having lysine as the first limiting amino acids. However, they are still considered good sources of good combination of protein quality. In conclusion, eggs had greater diets than plant proteins and that is because eggs have greater digestibility of amino acids. The low quality of plant proteins can be compensated if they are consumed in combination with eggs, but both combinations of bread and egg presented lysine as first thing limiting amino acids, so another lysine food is necessary. 
There is no limiting amino acid for cooked eggs calculated for children over six months of age, and no difference between boiling, frying, and scrambled egg was found for protein quality when cooking the eggs. And at the end, we concluded that diets is additive in combined meals, and when using digestibility diets, we can calculate the values from single ingredients in a combined meal. Thank you.